There is a new collaboration to determine how to help children stop having a seizure sooner. It means your child may be enrolled in a study without you knowing about it ahead of time. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now with details on this. So this is among Baylor College of Medicine, uh, Texas Children's Hospital, the Houston Fire Department, Children's Memorial Hermann, and UT Health. All of these big health institutions have seen such a pattern with children getting to the emergency room still seizing that they're forming a study to determine how to improve this problem. To study the best way to administer the seizure medication midazolam so that less children arrive at emergency departments with an ongoing seizure, Dr. Manish Shaw with Baylor College of Medicine and Texas Children's says they're going to change the way the drug is given on ambulances. We're saying only give it as a muscular injection or an intranasal spray. So that's one thing. And then the other thing that we're changing here is right now, Paramedics have to do calculations to figure out the dose. And so what we're changing with that is saying, we don't want you to make the, do any calculations. We want you to just ask that, that caregiver, how old's your child? And then strictly based on that response, use one of four doses that are, that are uh, available in the protocol. The current process is so complicated that one third of kids arrive at the ER still seizing because they're underdosed. And in order to change it, researchers will have to study information from the patient in the middle Middle of an emergency, which doesn't require consent to be enrolled, but they're looking for input from parents now. We have uh, this study posted on our, our website um, so that people can actually give us feedback. We want the feedback from the public. We're actually doing surveys of the community. We're actually interviewing uh, parents of children to find out what are their, their views on doing a study like this in our community. Now, if your child is having a seizure, how do you know when it's time to call an ambulance? Dr. Shaw says if they aren't breathing, if their lips are blue, or if it goes on longer than five minutes. Now, anytime a child is having a seizure, it feels like it's going on forever. So Dr. Shaw suggests taking a video. So then the doctor can see what the seizure looks like and you have a real time on how long it's lasting. Lauren and Keith. Important study for those families. Haley, thank you.